And look, but we are here today for the Houston Astros. Look, I can tell you, this Astro team has really, really made Houston proud. And uh, last year, after a whole lot of water landing on the city of Houston, they lifted our spirits. And I can tell you, even as the mayor of the city of Houston, I can never thank them enough. We cannot thank them enough for what they did. They carried us in their hearts, on their jerseys, and they brought us a world championship, okay? Are you hungry for a little bit more? You want to see that happen again? Well, look, and then uh, they're in, in the season. They've been to the season winning 103 games. That's a team record. Today, uh, look, I'm just honored to have that the, the, some of the Astros players are here. Uh, we got Ryan Presley and Tony Kemp. You know, give it up to them, guys. Some of the executives from the Astro teams are here. But I want, I want to give a special shout out to Whitney Crane and Jim Crane, the owners of the Houston Astros. I mean, they have just gone out of their way. They put together a winning organization. Uh, people all around the world, you know, are talking about the Houston Astros, the Houston Astros. And so I want, Jim, I want to thank you for, for what you all have done for the organization you have built, for the winning team that you brought to the city of Houston, the city of Houston. It shows that we are Houston strong, we're Houston proud, and are we gonna show up on Friday? Are we gonna win on Friday? Are we gonna kick, uh, are we gonna beat Cleveland's ass? I, I, I didn't say that, I mean, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to get that much carried away. Are we gonna kick their butts? All right, but let me bring up the owner of the Houston Astros, Jim Crane. The mayor, mayor is hard to follow, but I um, want, want to thank the mayor and his, his great team here and a lot of our guys here today. They're going to do a little talking and our players. But uh, most of all, I want to thank the fans. You guys have been so supportive throughout the year. We set a record at the ballpark um, for attendance and i um, happy to give away all those rings. But... Without the fans, we're not here. You know, you've helped us grow the foundation. You've helped us, you know, fill the ballpark and have a lot of fun down there. And, and you guys are the key. All the fans out there, you're the key to making this happen. And we appreciate your support. And let's come out Friday night and do it. I want to introduce um, Reed real quick. Um, Reed's the uh, president of business operations. Uh, Reed Ryan. So uh, give him a big round of applause. And uh, he'll give you some more info. All right, who's ready for postseason baseball? All right. Okay, here's what we need you guys to do. First off, Friday, wear orange. No matter where you are, Friday, get the orange on, okay? Second thing, get your flags out. Get your signs out. If you're at a business, get the boss to put up Go Astros. We need to turn this town orange, and we need to get that home field advantage going this weekend, Friday and Saturday, okay? All right, I'm going to bring up the man who has architected this transformation we've had from 100 losses to 103 wins, our general manager and president of business oper uh, baseball operations, Mr. Jeff Luno. Come on up. So somebody told me a fact about Houston sports teams. When they win one championship, they end up winning two. The Rockets... Rockets, Dynamo, and hopefully us. Now, I am telling you that we are living through the golden era of Astros baseball. Not only did we win the World Series last year, and we had an incredible team, and we beat the three powerhouses, we went out this offseason, and we improved the team. We brought in guys like Garrett Cole, Hector Rondon, Joe Smith, and then during the season, we didn't rest. We went out and we acquired more players, including Ryan Presley, who's our secret weapon, who's here today. And there are going to be several players on our roster this year during the postseason that were not on the roster last year. Guys like Tony Kemp from our own organization. So with your help, with the support of Mr. Crane, with the support of our coaching staff, we've taken a really excellent team in 2017 and we've made it even better. And so here's to a great postseason and hopefully bringing another championship to Houston. 
I turn it back to Johnny B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the guys, these are the people that put the team on the field and give us a winning product, but these are the guys that go out and give us that winning product and give us something to cheer about. When we hit the ball in the Crawford boxes, it's because of these guys. Bring up the mayor again. Mayor Turner, if you could tell everybody what we need to be doing. What do we have to do on Friday? What are we supposed to do? Wear orange, okay? Friday is the color orange. Wear it, you know, all over the city, in the schools, at your business. If they don't allow you to wear the Astro colors and everything else, just something the mayor said, wear orange, okay? So Friday is orange throughout this whole postseason. It's orange. Let's root on the Astros. This is a city of champions. This is a city of champions. And one thing we know how to do, we know how to win. So Houston, Houston, Houston. Okay, let's go ahead and win against Cleveland. Bye bye, Indians. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Let's sing a song together. Here we go. Everybody take a deep breath. Come on, let's sing it. Come on, clap. Y'all know. Come on, city council. Stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the prairie sky is wide and high. 